everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. Today, what will I talk about? Hmm, good question. <laughs> I came in here, oh, it's Meat Monday, I could tell you about my, my supper. Today, Jim went shopping, and so when he came back, he brought back some hamburg, and I, and I says, what do you want for supper? Because, you know, I never cook. I don't, well, I don't prepare. <laughs> because whatever we have, it usually just takes maybe 20 minutes to get ready. And we all can wait 20 minutes. So he said, well, we probably should have eggs. And I says, you know, we could have eggs. And I could put mix up some of that hamburg with it. And then I could put some um, mozzarella. mozzarella cheese on top of it. And so that's what I did. I put some bacon grease in the frying pan and I stirred six eggs. I did six eggs with it because we have a lot of eggs. We have, I think, I don't know, seven dozen, seven in, dozen in the, fri in the fridge. fridge, plus the one that you brought over. So that makes eight dozen plus the one that's almost full because it's just lacking, I think, four eggs to be another dozen. A lot of eggs. So um, I scrambled the eggs up with the Hamburg. And I put some salt in there, and then I dumped it in the frying pan with the with the bacon grease. And um, I didn't put the the smoke detector didn't go off today. Wow, no. that's a that's a record in itself. Because usually I make the smoke detector go off just from mm. the heat of the of the stove. But um, then we had I cut it like. Um, like four pieces. I cut it in four so I could flip it. Quarters, yeah. Because usually I can put a dish over top, flip the frying pan, but there was a lot of juiciness to it, so I thought, I better not do that. I better just cut it. So I cut it and flipped it over, and then I put the cheese on top, and, you know, it looked funny, but it tasted great. Oh, it tasted delicious. It tasted real good. So we ate. I actually cooked. I never, I, you know, when the kids were all home, I used to cook for 13 people, but I was always baking dishes that had, um, it was usually a pasta kind of dish because I loved macaroni. And so it was real easy to cook. I would put chicken or I would, and broccoli. In fact, he told me, and, and with the pasta and some kind of sauce and stuff. I don't remember half the stuff. We we even made egg pasta, which was mm. really good. Um, forgot what it's called in Italian. I forgot. I don't, I don't remember either. And then we used to make onion pasta. Oh, that was so good, where you fry up a bunch of onions, and some people would put bacon with it. It's called something in Italian too. <laughs> I don't know. And we used to have pasta beans, pasta vizzula. That I remembered in Italian. <laughs> that when we. And cabbage, pasta kabuch, and pasta kaguza. Oh, there was so many different kinds of pasta. But now that I don't make macaroni, I don't know how to cook. And it makes it sad. Because everything we have, even that soup that Voon made with the chicken and the meatballs, that would have tasted so good over macaroni. So now that I've spoiled my Meat Monday with all this pasta talk... <laughs> Um, I'll show you the eggs right here. Yeah, I can show. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we'll show you the eggs now, right here. Decided I would videotape just a little bit of this. It doesn't look real good, but boy, does it taste good. It is hamburger with eggs, and then I put mozzarella cheese on top and with some salt. It is so tasty. This is what's left so far. We have we just started, so um, we're probably going to eat more. I know. I've had questions about Bob, how Bob was doing. Well, you know what? Bob left me a message. It made me feel so good that he commented on one of my videos. That means he's getting better. He's still not good, though. He can still use a whole lot of prayers. Bob is Mountain Crest Farms, in case you, you wonder who Bob is. He's another YouTuber, and he's he used to have pigs. He doesn't have pigs anymore. He did write a book about pigs, and he always tells us to remember two things, and the two things are that he is alive and the tomb is empty, and he wants everybody to know that. 
So I would appreciate any prayers that can go to Bob and help him along. And thank you, Bob. If you're listening to this, thank you so much for commenting on my video. I really, really worry about you. I don't know you, but I sure do feel like I know you. And I'm looking forward to the day that we can meet in person. That means I'm going to have to come to Georgia. <laughs> that means we got to take a road trip. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe when, yeah. when when our our government allows us to road yeah, trip again. Yeah, I know it's sad. Right it's kind now, of crazy. And my daughter hasn't heard anything about her unemployment yet, and it's sad because a lot of people need haircuts, and she could be working right along, but because no. they won't let you because she can't do a haircut six feet away, <laughs> unless maybe she could use a vacuum cleaner. <laughs> <laughs> A slow bee or something. She doesn't even own one of those. Um, but yeah. <laughs> so if you have a vacuum cleaner out there and you've got a clippers that you can connect to it, and maybe you can do your own haircuts. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe that's it. <laughs> I guess we're done. I had it. I I don't have anything more to tell you. But I hope you enjoyed your meat, your animal source Monday. I guess mine was animal source because I did mm -hmm. have eggs and cheese along with the with the beef. And some sour cream. And some sour cream. Yeah, it's still all animal-based. Yep, all animal-based. <laughs> all animal-based. Okay, well, we'll talk to you again tomorrow. You have a great night. Bye-bye.